everyone thank you for joining me today and we're gonna have a bit of a play with the gel plate and we're gonna do something a little bit different so just because you know gel plates are for experimenting and we all love our gel plates and i know some of you have got them and you still haven't opened them you still haven't had a play This might encourage you. This might be the video that says, come on, join in the fun. <laughs> okay, so just going to do two colours. I love this metallic. It's called iridescent blue green. Oh, it's perfect if you're doing like a mermaid journal or something, you know, a water effect one it's absolutely gorgeous right what i'm gonna do da, da, da. i have how many butterfly stamps look at all these different types of butterfly stamps what i'm gonna do is stamp on here and then lift the print and i'm gonna do it sideways so that if i decide i want to use it as a journal page i can now, you do need to get the paint off before you dab it down again. Otherwise, you end up with a bit clogged up. So just stamp it off. In fact, that could then be a really cute, you know, your stamping off pad. Now, this has got best wishes on it or something. Oh, well, best wishes, everybody. <laughs> Maybe we'll do one of them. And we'll do some more little ones just all over how cute is that now i hope you can see it because to me it's looking so cute i should do better stamping off i think and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move it where's my paper this is the paper that i got from the scrap store the other day you may have seen the video and it's like a glossy photo paper. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out good enough to put in one of my journals. As a background. I don't know why. I, ch I should have chose green really, shouldn't I? That would have been better for butterflies. <laughs> oh well. Maybe we'll do a green one next. So let's have a look. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool for first print. What do you think? Now let's put some green over the top. Just dry it off a bit. Everybody blow. <sighs> dry it off. The trick is not to put too much paint on, I believe. Because that's not going to happen in my house. I know this. I'm a bit heavy handed, bit heavy handed with the um, with the paint. But I do think you get a better print if you're very gentle. I probably haven't put enough paint on now. I'm so, I'm so I'm so trying to keep it sort of you know not too much. I just want enough to lift the print from underneath. Do we need anything else on there? Can I print anything else? What else have I got? I've got some flowers. I've got loads of flowers. I thought butterflies and flowers. So I might just do a few flower ones. Dotted about. See what happens. Let's have a look. Because it's just playing. I do appreciate you being here. It's much more fun doing this when somebody's watching. It makes me feel like I'm not talking to myself. Or the cat. She usually gets the blame. I was talking to you. I'm not going insane. <laughs> Chatting away to myself. And I've got all my brown paper down as my background. So it doesn't matter if I get paint everywhere. 
Okay, so that one is really pretty. Let's have a look and see how we clean the plate. Well, I'm glad we did the flowers because I can't see many butterflies on that one. We can always stamp some butterflies on. They're sort of there in the background. It's still a quite a pretty print. I like that. We might be able to do... I think this one is, is done. This one I'm going to do a bit more on. Okay, I've got air bubbles. I've got air bubbles. Go away. Go away. Okay, right. So let's do green as our background this time. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Does help when you know what you're doing. This little set of paints I got um, from the works. It hasn't lasted very long. They're only tiny. That's going to be quite vivid, isn't it? I'm going to put a bit of um, white onto that as well. Please do not blob out like you usually do. Just a little bit. That's enough. Uh, that's a cool background on its own. I like that. Okay, right, let's go with the flowers. I've got this massive big flower one. Don't ask me where any of these came from, guys, because no idea. This one says Creative Stamping 2005. So <laughs> that's how long I've had these. Or... How long somebody else had them and then I bought them. I might just cover the rest of the page with, with these little... These are like little daisies. I can do two. Let's have some going off the edge because, you know, that's like more real. Okay, there's my paper. And I'm, I am going to have a little play in a minute with something else to, um, instead of paper. So maybe the, nec the next one we'll have, we're going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of an experiment. Because... <laughs> You know, we do. <laughs> what we're all about. Experimenting. Oh, that is really pretty. I like that one. That's another one going in the keep pile. Now, I don't think there's a lot left on there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and put something else on this one. And I'm going to be a bit brave. And I'm going to use some red. <gasps> You're all going, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> well, you know, you've got to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. A little bit. But I am going to tone it down with some white. <laughs> I'm, not that, I'm not that crazy. And I'm hoping it's going to make a really gorgeous, yeah, really gorgeous purple. There we go. I, I'm, I have got purple paint, but it's much more fun mixing it. Right, where are them butterflies? Oh, they're all here. Right. If I put them separately over there, that might make quite a nice little background as well. But I keep forgetting. Right. Let's have this big one. I wonder which way up it goes. 
super cool. Just coming up there. And just going off the top of the page. I had another one. One, two. Oh yeah, the best wishes. No, there he is. You hear the children playing outside. They've got a trampoline. They like to scream when they're on it. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Right, now, do we want to put this on top? Or do we think it's going to completely obliterate it? Mm. I'm thinking I might try this. Right, I've got some pieces of fabric. That's my... That's my little experiment for today. What do you think? Shall we go for it? I don't know if I, where I would use it. But I, I have this cotton from the scrap store again, from my haul video. And I'm like, there's masses. I just, there was loads of it. And I thought, hmm. What can I do with it all? And there's loads of things you can do with this. I mean, I've stamped words on it and all sorts. But then I thought, what if I could print, jelly print on it? Because I know Melissa prints on everything. If there's if, if it sits still long enough, Melissa will... <laughs> that's by Mimi with love. Mimi, she will, she will jelly print it. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to have a go at that. That sounds fun. So... Oh, do you think it's worked? I might leave it to dry for just a bit. So what are we going to do with this? I know. What I wanted, really, was my new... was another gel plate here, wasn't it? But we can, we can make do. What we're going to do is put some of that down. This may or may not work. Roll it out a bit. This could be a complete disaster, guys. Get my little... It's like they've been embossed because they're like... Um, iridescent. That's the word I was looking for. I like that. That's they're really cute. It's getting a bit clogged up. Hang on. Let me just stamp that off. While we wait for it to dry <laughs> underneath. Oh look, it's so cute. Oops. <laughs> Right, I'm going to stop before I make it complete mess. I like that now. See, so if your page doesn't turn out how you think, just do something else. I mean, I I just went with that. Can you see the shine? I hope so. If I hold it up and, and wiggle it around a little bit. I can't tell. I can't tell whether you can see. I think you think you can. But that is really pretty. I like that one. We're getting some good prints now. <laughs> Did it work onto the fabric or not? Oh my goodness. Oh, I like it. That is really cute. I'm so tough with that, guys. What do you think? It would have probably looked really nice on paper. But I don't know. I don't know whether it's because it's on fabric. Should we do a comparison? Let's do it. Let's do a comparison. <laughs> what could we use? Red, blue, and I want to do it again, but with paper and see what the difference is. Maybe I should use this up. First. <laughs> what did I do? Red, white, and the blue, the dark blue, wasn't it? I think I'll try and do it as close as I can to the original that one and then I'm 
just wondering, you know, whether it whether it will turn out the same. Obviously not with 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 that blue one. I'll try and get the same sort of background. It it won't be exactly the same because you know, but it'll be roughly the same. And then we just stamped, didn't we? This is a cool experiment. What should we call this video? Experimenting with gel printing. <laughs> no, because that's not been done. Okay, right. So more little butterflies. And I don't... Oh, it's got a bit of blue. Oops. We're just going to put these like random. They're not going to be in the same place. And they're going to have blue on them. <laughs> By the look of it. And we're going to get the, a different butterfly. Doesn't matter. It's just the idea, isn't it? Okay, I think that's probably enough butterflies. Let's get a bit of paper. Then we can compare and see... Oh, this is so interesting. I can't wait to see what this does. This is going to be so cool. Wait for it. <laughs> this is like... Uh, I wouldn't bite my nails, but... Da, da, da. Can't go that way because I've got loads of blue paint. Oh, it's still pretty. It's still nice. Look. Right. I'm just going to put them over there to dry for a minute while I sort out this mess here. I might see if I can get some of this on here so I don't waste it. It's not going to come up. It's not coming up. I don't like wasting paint. Don't like wasting anything. As you may have noticed by the amount of cardboard and junk that I put in my um, my journals. Where's that scratch piece? Right, there's nothing there. So we just grab a baby wipe. Bear with me, guys. We'll just clean up that mess before before we carry on. Give this a minute. Right, let's let's just quickly do something with this plate that's got lots of bits on it. I like some orange. If I do some yellow. Oh, this one's nearly gone. hoping that'll make orange. <laughs> Let's see. Sort of. I'm really chuffed with the way these are turning out today. Some days it just doesn't go how you think it's going to go and then other days it's really good. Today's a good day. Today is a good day for jelly printing. Right, so I'm just going to do some more flowers, I think. Oh, look at that. That is going to be awesome. I haven't done any flowers for a little while. I've done a lot of butterflies. We should have done them. I keep doing that and I need to like put um put them down properly. 
so that I'll make another print, another pattern on there, but I keep forgetting. Right, let's get rid of this and then we'll bring the other two back and see the difference. I mean, I may have put, you know, there may be slightly more paint on one than the other. Well, that was nice and straight, Carol. <laughs> I've got loads this side and it's like right on the edge. This photo paper's turned out quite nice. It's not, because if you copy paper sometimes, it's it all wrinkles up. Oh, look at that. Yummy. I like that as well. Even with the cotton. And it's stuck. It's stuck, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Let's put that down there. Let's put that down there. Can I? Very gently do the other side a bit and clean the plate. I'm loving working with the purple. That is even pretty, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at both of these. Now, I don't know about you, but I quite like the one on the fabric. I like the one on the fabric a lot. What do you think? Votes, paint on paper, paint on fabric. That is beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to turn it into um, any sort of thing for my journal, but... I might have another go at it. I've got some more fabric. Let's have a look and see what else I can do. I'm sticking with the purple because I'm loving the purple. I, I think I'm still in boho. You know, I've been doing so much boho stuff that I'm still in the boho. Um, zone, zone. I think we'll call it a zone. And I'm going to add a bit of white because it's much too dark without it. My white is running out. It's still running out. It was running out last time. It's still running out. I really need to go to Hobbycraft and get some more paint. I'm waiting for them to have a sale. Sometimes they do. Doesn't happen very often. For those of you who are not in the UK... Hobbycraft is probably our one and only proper craft store. We have one. <laughs> and it's quite expensive, but it's sometimes the only place, apart from online, like Amazon, you know, eBay and all that sort of thing. It's, um, yeah, it's just annoying that we haven't got the craft stores. It annoys me. With, we're not jealous, are we, ladies in the UK? We're not jealous of all the all the stores that you have and the sales and the coupons. <laughs> I'm remembering to stamp them on my rub-off sheet. I like this little daisy stamp. She's cute. Let's do some big swirly ones. I use this in my boho journal as well. <coughs> it's this one. Oh, little swirly one. I've got out all my flower ones. It's a bit small, but maybe I can just do the end of it like that. Oh, that's better. I 
don't know where that's going. I'm going to do another couple of these little ones. Right, stop. Stop now, Carol. Oh, fabric. Fabric. Let's do some fabric. I've got another piece. I've got one more piece. Oh, no, I've got two more pieces. I didn't cut them very straight. Hopefully I've got no string. How cool is this? So who's going to have a go? Jelly printing and printing onto fabric. Or have you already done it and I'm just late to the party? <laughs> that could be a that could be something. I haven't actually checked on YouTube to see if anybody else has done this. I must I must go and check before I put this video up. Um, but if you do like it, please press the sub the, the like button. That would be awesome. Let's me know that you like it and that I can make some more sort of videos like this. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know whether you like them or not. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. I am loving doing this onto, onto fabric. It's coming out absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'm going to do another one, but I just want to lift that up now with... Do you know what? I'm going to go yellow. Da, da, da. I was going to do the, um, what do you call it, photo, you know, it, where you imprint a photo and then take the print off it. I can't remember what it's called now. I was going to do that. And then I thought of using the fabric that, you know, that I'd got. And just using some of my, some of my stamps. Oh, I think this is going to be awesome. I think this is going to be so good. I'm going to use fabric again. I'm running out, but I can't help it. It's just big enough. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like a big kid. We need to put and we need to do another layer on this, don't we? We need to put some on there. What colour should we put on that one while we're while we're thinking? Um thinking white. A bit of white, but not too much. Needs to be a, a ghost print, doesn't it, on top of that one? Okay, are you done? Oh, it's very faint. We may leave it a bit. So what colour are we gonna put on this one? next how about i might use i might use my my iridescent blue again because i love that and maybe with a bit of crimson red perhaps no we've already used that all right yellow we'll go with yellow and then we'll do a print and then we'll use that the ghost print on there okay guys here we go let's see Well, not as good, but it, it's all right. It's okay, isn't it? It's still pretty. And we can, I mean, I can just cut that up for collage. Or use it as, you know, fabric bits. I can see flowers in it. I'm loving, I'm loving this fabric print. <laughs> And I think there's still pattern on there. So I'm going to put... I started doing this with gesso. And just sort of doing some of it. Just roughly over it. Like this. Because... Sometimes that comes out really nice. I'm going to let it dry just a bit. So can you all blow again? <sighs> dry, dry, dry. 
dry, dry, dry. I've got both of my windows open. <laughs> Trying to dry paint quickly. So I don't want it too... I don't want loads of white. Please don't just come out loads and loads of white. <laughs> You know, sometimes you do it and you, you just end up with a whole piece of white paper. Oh, no, we're going to have to leave that for a minute. So while we're waiting for that one, for the last one, let's have a look at what we've made. So we did this one. I love that. That is beautiful. This one, not bad, not bad at all. Still really pretty. This one, really cute. I love that one too. That's, I just think the printing with the stamps is is just brilliant. I love, I love doing that, making my own backgrounds. And then we're on to the paper ones. So we have this one which was really cool, and with the back as well. That's nice, because you've still got the imprints on there. So that may be a page in a journal yet. Yeah. That's just the rubbing off bits. This was the one that didn't turn out so good, but we've embellished it with the shiny butterflies. That one's really pretty, with all the little daisies and a couple of flower, big flowers. I love this shiny. <laughs> I might get more iridescent paint. That one's pretty. This one, really grungy. Quite like that. Quite like that. Was that from before you came and joined me? It might have been. I think that was clearing my plate when I made that. But there you go. Those are the ones we've made today. What do you think? Let me know. Right, let's take this off, because that should be now pulling up everything. Oh my goodness me, that is grungy, but sort of cool. I don't know if it's the gesso, I don't know if I'd have got the same effect with the white paint. More experimenting. I sort of quite like that. Right, time to let you guys go and I appreciate your time that you've spent your time with me. That is wonderful. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.